Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to round 19 of the NRL. We have a pretty good round to uh, get into. Um, obviously a lot of players, the injury results of origin are starting to happen as we'll be speaking about kicking off with our first game. Had a little look at this team list. I have had time to. So uh, before this video starts, make sure you guys go and check out Drom Clothing Co. over on Instagram and drom.com.au. Proud sponsor of the channel, so uh, go and check them out. And let's get straight into this with round 19 kicking off when my Parramatta Eels take on the Canterbury, uh, sorry, the Canberra Raiders. <laughs> So as I mentioned, the Eels and the Raiders obviously last year went to Golden Point. Um, this year, Parramatta won in Canberra for the first time in 16 long years. So very different look for both teams here. Let's get into both sides. Will Pedersini will be making his NRL debut in the centres for Tom Opacek. Now, I don't know if he's been dropped or injured. Interesting there. Uh, Hayes Dunstar is in the reserves as Blake Ferguson returns to the wing. Now, I've been calling this for this for a while, but at the same time, Hayes had one of the best games I've seen him play in a long time. I think it was probably his best game of his career against the Gold Coast Titans. I still think he's got a lot to learn, but I think he's a player with a lot of potential, and I think he'll secure a wing or centre spot within our club in the years to come. Now, the big news coming out this afternoon is that Mitchell Moses is going to spend uh, quite a bit of time on the sideline due to a back injury, meaning that our halfback from the Titans game Jacob Arthur, Brad Arthur's son, will retain that number seven jersey once more. The big in for us, for me, is Junior Paulo back in jersey number 10. Really good to have him back in the side. Um, and as for the bench, fairly much the same. Murata in the 14, Will Smith, Oregon Gafusi, and Sean Lane. Bryce Cartwright and Joey Lussick in the extended reserve. Now let's have a look at the Raiders. Quite a few changes here. Um, Xavier Savage is out for the season. Very unfortunate injury. Very talented player. Um, what a performance against the Sharks. Jordan Rapana uh, is at fullback. On the wing, you've got Harley Smith-Shields. So I'm guessing is, is um, oh, well, Rapana is at fullback. That makes sense. Uh, Matt Frawley is the number six. Jack Whiten is out for this clash. Not too sure how long he will be out for, but he was definitely in some pain the other night. Matt Tomoko um, is on the bench, which means that Ryan James drops back to the reserves, and Caleb Akins is a chance of returning in jersey number 18. Uh, could be a late in for fullback, maybe. Um, look, as for this game, uh, meant to be Parramatta at home, but obviously at the Gold Coast, so mutual ground there. The Raiders definitely need to win this if they want to play in the top eight, so they're, they're going to come out firing. I just don't know if they've got enough strength in this side. They still have uh, Josh Papali here. They still have Corey Harawir and Naira. I question both teams' halves, but I think I've shot, uh, our halves have started to gel a little bit more. Dylan Brown playing with Jacob Arthur. I think it's gonna it's gonna move nicely. Uh, Will Penasini is a fantastic player, so I can't wait to see him make his debut. I was gonna go with the Eels one to twelve here, but I honestly think we can win this game thirteen plus. I don't think it will be a complete and utter blowout, though, but I'm going to tip Parrot to win 28 points to 12. I think it's going to be a really interesting game with both of these sides lining up very differently to what I thought was going to happen. But um, Parramatta to win 28 to 12. I don't mind the value of the unders here. The uh, total is 49 and a half. I have the total at 40 points, and I, I, I don't see too much more than that, maybe 44. So I don't mind that play. I'm at $1.90. I'm going to go big Isaiah Papali'i for first try scorer. I think he might have been first try scorer um, against the Canberra Raiders last time as well down there in Canberra. So going to back him for first. And I'm going to say that Matt Tomoko is going to bring a lot off the bench for Canberra. So I'm going to take him for a try at any time. Next game sees the Sydney Roosters up against the Newcastle Knights. Now, Caelan Ponga returns for this clash, named at fullback. Will he play? Will he not? Who knows? It changes every week. Uh, on the bench for the Roosters, Sasiwa Takiaho and James Tedesco back into the side. Suase Su returns to the Knights. He's on the bench. So, look, I don't mind this Knights team this week. I think this is definitely a Knights team put on the park that will compete with the Roosters. But 
their forward pack, man, is just unstoppable. You've got Crichton, you've got Maria Hargraves, who's having an outstanding season, Radley and Tupanua. Um, they've got too many stars for mine. I think they'll win this game. I I think if you're tipping the Knights, I, I think you, you could be onto something, though. Um, this could definitely be considered as the upset of the round. I could see the Knights bouncing back from their performance against the Melbourne Storm, but I'm going to take the Roosters by eight here. Uh, Roosters to win 26 points to 18. I think the Knights will score the first try, though. I'm going to take the Knights to score first, and I'm going to go with Kurt Mann uh, in that centre role. Jersey number three, short ball to Kurt Mann, scores a try. And any time for the Roosters, you could back him for first if you want as well, if you want to play more towards the Roosters here. I'm going to go Tupanua. I reckon he might score a double. I think he's going to have a big game. Sedili Tupanua on that right edge for the Roosters. And I'm just going to put it out there that Roosters 1-12 to is at $3.30. And they're currently favourites at 13 plus, But they're just not playing their best footy. Um, they're not gelling completely. So I think they'll win the game. Um, but I think it'll be tight. And I like um, Newcastle to cover a line of 11.5. But the best play for me would be Roosters 1-12. to for this one, Roosters to win uh, 26 points to 18. The next game sees the North Queensland Cowboys up against the Melbourne Storm. The poor Cowboys after their loss to the Roosters last week, which, guys, I did predict the score right. Woohoo! Uh, last week when I put out my tips, 34 to 18 or 16. I, I got it right. I double-checked. I know that much. Um, they were in tears. They were a distraught team. They were a different team. They've got a few changes this week. Uh, Javid Bowen is out. Hylam Lukey is in the res in uh, the bench for this game. Lachlan Burr on the reserve. Um, Kane Bradley on the wing. Um, as for the Storm, though, there are a lot of changes. Uh, Cameron Munster and Felice Kafusi will be rested for this one. I think Dale Finucan, no, he's failed a HIA and he hasn't been named, so he has the week off. George Jennings is out for this one. Addo Carr returns. Ryan Pappenhausen via the bench. Uh, Cooper Johns. In the halves for Cameron Munster. And that's about it. So Dean Lamare, once again, on the wing for the Storm. Um, look, this game is being played at Townsville, so you've got that advantage for the Cowboys. Um, they're four or five straight losses now, so their season is, is all but over, in my opinion. Um, look, I, I'd like to see the Cowboys get up here. I think they'll put in a fight. After what I saw last week, the emotion in this club... I think they will come out firing, but I just can't trust them enough. So I'm going to take the Melbourne Storm to win 32-16. to 16. I think this game will be closer than people think, and I think that's because they'll be missing a lot with Cameron Munster. Um, I, I don't mind Chris Lewis as a player, as a replacement for Felice Kafusi. Um, and it's great to see Ryan Pappenhausen back, but I think the Storm will be a little bit off here. Don't expect them to score four, uh, 40 or, or maybe 40. Don't expect them to reach 50. They won't put 50 on the Cowboys here. Uh, I'm going to go first try scorer at Kenny Bromwich. He's in jersey number 12. We're going to go Kenny Bromwich to score first try of the match. And I'm going to go with Hammer, Hamiso to be our Fido for the Cowboys to get a really nice breakaway at the fullback um, and score a try at any time. I'm hoping the Cowboys win this game. I really, really do after what I saw last week and, and just to get their season back on track. Melbourne will be 15, loss, uh, 15 straight wins if they win this game as well. So really big effort for the Melbourne Storm, and I think they will. The next game sees the South Sydney Rabbitohs, who only just uh, got out of jail against the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Um, I'm just trying to remember if the Bulldogs led at halftime. I think they did 12 points to 10. Up against the New Zealand Warriors, who were very brave against uh, the Penrith Panthers the other day. Um, this is a really interesting Warriors team this week. Rocco Berry has been sensational this season, and he's out for this one. Roger Tuovasashek, that's a huge out, and we saw just how much it impacted the Warriors the other day. Tohu Harris is out with injury, and so is Wade Egan. So Jazz Tavaga will be the starting hooker for this match. Ben murdoch Mustilla has been named on the reserves. Interesting move there. Bunty Afoa back on the bench, um, and Sean O'Sullivan is in the reserves for this one. Uh, as for the Rabbitohs, Alex Johnston is out. That's a huge out. He's expected to miss two weeks. Uh, Liam Knight is also out, but they do get back Jai Arrow. They get back Latrell Mitchell. Josh Mansour returns to the wing for this one. 
And I think Souths will have a party here. Um, it's interesting that Tane Milne, who has been fantastic try scoring machine lately, has been named in jersey number 14. It's going to be really interesting seeing at what point he comes on. Because um, I don't think they'd take Jackson Paulo off and then put him on the, the wing. I feel like it'd be a weird move. Uh, Blake Taff uh, did a really good job at fullback for uh, the games when Latrell Mitchell was out. But now Latrell's back, and I think he'll be steering this team around the park. And I think they're going to get a really impressive victory here. I'm going to go with the Rabbitohs to win 30 points to 6. I was close to going 30 nil, but I'm going to give the Warriors a little bit of credit here. Uh, Any time try scorer for the Warriors, if they score a try, it's going to come from Marcelo Montoya. And first try scorer, I'm going to go with Cody Walker here for the Rabbitohs. Um, they're just going to blow the Warriors off the park, in my opinion. They're going to be a very lethal side and show just how good they are, even without their star winger in Alex Johnston. The next game sees the Manly Seagulls up against the West Tigers. West Tigers screwed my perfect tipping round. I tipped the Broncos over the Tigers. They led them at halftime. Great fight for the Tigers. Um, I think the Tigers, at the moment, they're probably a little bit fired up, especially watching if they're watching the Tales from Tiger Town documentary. Everyone's really talking about it. Uh, premiered last night. Manly, a little bit hot and cold. Uh, nice win against the Dragons in the end, but um, it was a back and forth game. Um, they had a loss to the Raiders. They've got their big guns here, I believe. I'm just trying to check who's out for this one. Carl Lawton is out for this one. Uh, Tavita Funa is also out. Uh, Tom Travojevic back. Daly Cherry Evans back. Joe Jeske back. Jake Travojevic back. Manly are going to win really well here. Uh, I'm going to take Manly to win by... Is that 32? 22. 22 points. I'm going to go 40 points to 18. One of the plays of the week for me, and I think I've been a little bit critical on the West Tigers, is that they have the ability to score points. Even in that um, that thrashing from, who was it, Melbourne, they were able to put some big points on the board. So I'm going to go Manly 40 to 18, but I do like over 51 and a half points at $1.90 because I've got the total at 58, and I could see it even being over that. These two sides, when they meet, normally it's a high-scoring game. I'm going to go Brad Parker to score the first try for the Seagulls, uh, Nofaluma to score at any time for the West Tigers, and Josh Schuster. I think he played really, really well last week, and in that back row, he'll get some nice ball, uh, maybe even an offload off Olakalatu or Paseca, and, um, and score a try at any time. So Manly to win, uh, 40 to 18. They got their big guns back. Watch out for the Seagulls this week. The next game sees the Penrith Panthers up against the Brisbane Broncos. Now, having a look at this team list, let's have a look. Jerome Luai is back for the Panthers. Paul Momorowski is named, but he's in jersey number 19 for this one. Uh, Isaac Targo in jersey number 21. Xavier Coates on the reserves for the Broncos. Corey, H, Corey Oates and Jermaine Asako. Uh, and then Gamble and Croft in the halves once again for this one. I'm really disappointed in the Broncos. Um, I think they had the West Tigers. I think that Tessie New is a great player, but uh, he passes that ball to Stags, and that game really opens up in favour of the Broncos. Uh, 24 to 10, I think it would have been, and really, really favoured um, Brisbane going into half time and, and their confidence. But anyway, lost the game, lost the game convincingly. Can't trust them here. Still question the halves. Um, Tyrone May. He had a better game. He had a better game against the Warriors. Um, and I don't know how his combination is going to go with Lua. He's had that time with Burton now. It's going to be interesting, but I think this Panthers team will get a nice win here. They definitely need a big win. They're due a big win. So going to go the Panthers to knock off the Broncos. 36 points to 14. Another 22-point victory, just like the Sea Eagles. So there you go. Both games, 22-point wins on Saturday. Uh, well, that's weird because we saw Saturday last week have the same score. Different score, same margin. First try scorer, I'm going to go Matt Burton for this one, for the Penrith Panthers. I think he'll score first. I think the points for the Broncos are going to come from the bench, and I'm going to take Reese Kennedy to score a try at any time. 36 points to 14. The Panthers to bounce back in fashion, even though they didn't lose last week. I think that the Warriors put in a brave fight but Penrith need a convincing win to compete against teams like the Storm. 
The next game is a really interesting one. Honestly, I think I'm uh, I'm really I'm I'm honestly really looking forward to this game. It's the Dragons up against the Titans. Now, the Titans, Greg Marzu is back for the Titans. Philip Sammy is out for this one. Jamal Fogarty is in. Oh, sorry, Jamal Fogarty is out for the Titans. Ooh, hoo, hoo, do I tip him? Spoiler alert, I had the Titans here. Okay. I didn't see that. See, that went over the top of me. So Greg Marzu is in. Jaden Campbell is in jersey number 21. Mitch Rain is in the hooker position. Tanner Boyd on the reserves. And Toby Sexton is the number seven for the Titans. Well, there's a few outs for the Dragons, though, with Corey Norman, Jackson Ford, uh, Poasa Farmasuli, Matt Dufty returns for the Dragons. Tyrell Fuamianu returns for the Dragons via the bench. Jaden Sullivan has been named at 5'8 to replace Corey Norman. Oh, man. This is tough now. Um, look, I'm going to stick with my original tip here. I think that the Titans will probably sneak into the top eight come the end of the season. If they are to do that, what they need to do is win games. So I think this is a winnable game for them. I think they can catch the Dragons as, as bad as... Norman has been. I think they're going to be missing a lot without him. Ben Hunt's been in some great form. But I just don't know if he's going to do enough to get them the win. So, I'm going to go to the Titans here. Bit of an upset. Gold Coast Titans to win 26 points to 22. Um, I thought they were okay against Parramatta. Um, but I think they can put in a much better performance against uh, a Dragons team who's doing not so well. I think the weak link for the Dragons here is their wing. Jordan Pereira and Matthew Figai on the other. Great players, but up against Greg Marzu and Corey Thompson, who um, you could back him for a try. Look, I'm going to say the Dragons score this game first, and I'm going to take Jordan Pereira to score the first try of the match. But I'm going to say the Ford Pack is going to stand up for the Titans here um, and compete against the likes of, of Jack Bird, Josh Maguire, and Blake Laurie. So I'm going to take Moe Fodawaka from the Titans to score at any time. Haven't tipped him in a while. Tipping Gold Coast. Gold Coast to win 26 to 22. Final game for the round. An interesting game. A very difficult game to tip. Says so the Canterbury Banks down Bulldogs. Sitting in 16th position. Needing a win. Against the Cronulla Sharks. I, let's have a look at these teams. Because I honestly... I have a lean towards Canterbury. I really want to tip Canterbury here. But I just... I... I think the Sharks will win the game. Aiden Tolman is out for the Sharks. Jeremy Marshall King returns for the Bulldogs. Kyle Flanagan has been named in the reserves. So Jake Avarillo and Lachlan Lewis making up the halves. As for the Sharks, Andrew Fafida is on the reserves. Mark Goulias is on the reserves. And Luke Metcalf. Luke Metcalf is... What is his name? On the reserves as well. Um, look, this is a, an incredibly hard game to tip. And if the Bulldogs are to win a game this year, uh, they have to. This is They've already beaten the Sharks. They put in a, a pretty good effort against the Sharks. I was there at Cogra. And they've been playing some good footy lately. They're working towards a win. The line is 11.5. It's a good line, don't get me wrong. But whatever the value of 14 and a half, I'd be taking that. I'm going to take the Sharks here. I'm not confident. If you're tipping the Bulldogs, good on you. I reckon you'll get it right. I reckon the Bulldogs will beat the Sharks, but I just can't tip them in the fact that I'd love to get 8 out of 8. So I'm going to go the Sharks to win by 12. Taking a line of 14 and a half, probably get about maybe $1.75 for that. I think the Bulldogs will hit first, though. I think their forward pack will come straight out of the park. I think they could lead this game convincingly. Um, but the Sharks will win it for mine. I just think they've got too much speed and strike around the park, even though this Doggies team has been good of late. Luke Thompson, first try scorer. Big roughy here. Loves a, a meat pie, so we're going to go Luke Thompson to score a try. Uh, first try of the match. Good value at any time. Probably about $7 you'll get for that. 
And we're going to go Sione Katoa to score at any time for the Sharks. So those are my tips, guys. Uh, going for the Titans this round for an upset and probably the best value of the week being the overs for the Manly and Tigers game and the unders for the Eels and Raiders game and the Roosters to win 1-12 to against the Newcastle Knights um, for that game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you do like and subscribe to the channel. Go and follow me on Instagram at The Entertain House and follow me on TikTok at EntertainYT. Uh, let me know your tips below in the comments. I will put up another uh, rebuild. There's two more to come uh, and then we'll start putting the teams against each other, which will be a lot of fun. I do believe that according to voting, we are rebuilding the Sea Eagles and the Roosters. So keep a lookout for that one. Enjoy your footy this weekend, guys, and I will see you.